Okay, so the video I did the other day that ran long and made me mad that YouTube wouldn't take it because it's 55 seconds longer was over TV Out 2. Well, I have discovered that with a simple two lines and a plus file, you can enable Apple's mirroring on an um, iPad 1G, iPad Touch 4G, and I presume the iPhone 4. Um, don't have a way to test it, haven't seen anything online, but I assume it just work. And so this is way better than any third-party CD app you could do. Um, in TV Out 2, when you launch a graphics game like Hot Pursuit, um, there would be some, like, ghosting, but ghosting from, like, a half a second before. So, ooh. Well. Oh. <laughs> First of all, um, there'd be, like, ghosting from half a, half a second before, like, not in the videos, obviously, but once you got it to actual, actually rendering a race, um, but here, it's just, there's no worse to describe, it's just amazing. And I would have it hooked up to the TV, but, um, last night while I was playing with it, um, a little bit of burn-in occurred, so I just wanted to, like, I, I didn't want to damage my TV if, anymore if I had already, so, but it's nice, smooth, this is actually rendering right now, and no sort of delay at all, so, can't play, so yeah, um, and so it, it basically, um, and this is, um, the two lines just enable the, um, cable mirroring. Um, airplane mirroring would probably have to require a lot more work, and I have, and I would have no idea. Um, I tweeted a lot about this, um, the, the two lines last night. Um, it's, um, in a, it's in the springboard list, um, and just depending on what device you have, if you have, like, um, an iPad, uh, 1G, it's like, the file's like K something plus, and if you have an iPad Touch 4G, it's like N81 something dot plus, and, um, system, library, core services, springboard app, and that's where those, that file's located, and then you just add the, um, key, um, display mirroring, and you set the value to true, and then you, and, and you don't even have to respring, um, Every time you connect a cable, it checks it checks for that string. So um, you can just delete it. Um, well, unplug the cable and delete it, or, or even just while it's plugged in, delete it and then replug it in it. Let's see, so playing one hand is not that great, but so exits out nicely, and I'll actually show you where the file is now. Um, Not quite. <laughs> so, system, library, core services, springboard out app, and, uh, and then for the iPod Touch 1G, it is named. Look at this, how nice this loads. Um, it is named n81ap.plist. And so you can load that. And you can let's do a text viewer. So you can and and it's got a bunch of keys already in there. And actually, device names in here too. Wow, I, I haven't really gone through this. Oh, did not know all this had it. Nice. So I just uh, at the end of the keys section, I added display mirroring and said to chew. And so what I can do is edit it. Um, when I when when I tried setting it to false before. It was still enabled somehow, even though I unplugged it and plugged it. So I just figured. So I just found if you just um, take out that section, and so take it out up to, and for that to actually take effect, you have to um, unplug and plug. But so you unplug. Well, crap! Didn't mean to plug the my cable. And so then just plug it back in. 
and see you can go through and didn't do anything. Oh. Awkward. Last night when I did this, this didn't come back up. Probably has to respring for it to actually take take effect. Let's let's do that now. I didn't think I had to respring because when I tried it last night, it didn't do that. But it doesn't make sense because it springboard that up and I'm editing a file that it would have to respring. But okay, so. And I can't let this run over 15 minutes. <laughs> oh, give me a break. Dang it. Well, crap. Sometimes it gets frozen on the respring and I... Oh, never mind, never mind. Okay. <laughs> I was like... Just about to give up on it, and it sprang into life. Because usually it'll turn to a, just a regular. So now I plug this in, and yeah, the monitor doesn't even act oh, activate. Okay, it it, it activates because the cable's plugged in, but so so it's acknowledging that something's plugged in, so it, it it's just sending a black screen to it. So yeah. But I do swear that I just changed that file and plugged it in and it worked, so let's try that real quick again. Can't really hurt much, so. Crabby camera. Uh. <laughs> the better camera is the iPod, but it's hard to record itself. So, I can go back in. Scroll down to the bottom of the keys. Go right after true, enter, space over. And yeah, I'm not even gonna worry about focusing that. So space over, key, display, hyphen, M I R R. O R I N G and then we end the key tag key value and then we set that value to true T R U E and okay so yeah, I can't see that at all. Um, so display mirroring and true. Save done. I'm gonna try plugging it in because I swear that it did that before. May have just been playing tricks on me. I don't know. So plugging it in. No, huh, I guess not. So you do have to respring after every. Let it respring. But yeah, that's all you need to enable video. Um, the good video out. <laughs> Display mirroring. And when you switch to anything that's regular video out, since it's Apple and all nice, you can just it'll automatically activate the video mode. And so screen's asleep. This is about to come on. Um, so, and then just swipe this a little bit and back up. It's got to have that initial link. And so, let's say I want to go to Twitter. And so, it detects when you rotate. Once Twitter loads. Um, the reason why that's black is because um, I tried doing some custom images, um, some cus oh, yeah, a custom splash, and <laughs> I tried making it transparent, but it it just makes it black.
So yep, um, you can rotate back. And if I had like a nice new TV, like I'd run it on that, but this is a plasma TV, so it burns in if I leave it in. And, and because this has such a sharp edge and doesn't fill up the whole screen, gotta do it. So that's about it. Pretty nice. Well, um, and also, before when I would free memory with some board settings, um, quit apps and free memory. I would only get about 90, well, tops 80 megabytes going with TV out to TV out. And I get 115. So, even good on memory. So, thanks for watching. Bye.